hello everyone welcome back again to my channel and this session we'll learn uh, how we can debug application inside docker container okay so i also uh, create another session okay so which is uh, how we can run our application uh, inside the docker container so i am especially recommend before proceed this one so check out this one actually okay so this one I created actually uh, for how we can run our application inside the Docker without writing any Docker metadata or Docker code. Okay, so it is very easy, very simple. Okay, so let's move in this session, like how we can debug. Okay, also I take a sample of that clean architecture. So you also don't aware that how we can create a clean architecture process, clean architecture so definitely i especially i especially recommend to you again you go to my channel and check out those series okay so let's get started so right click on that add option right click on the project um, project project uh, project our web api project and add a new option so see this is docker can docker support so once you add see and it show me uh you know, the target framework so you just put a target framework okay whatever uh, you want like linux or windows so i choose and linux okay okay before proceed one more thing so see this is my docker app docker desktop app so here is nothing there is nothing uh, container also no image so why i'm showing you because once i just add this support okay so automatically create a image and also set up a container okay and running that application so let's add and see it is automatically create a file for us okay and also see in this docker container tool it is the automatically start okay and pulling image and see writing our things and then generate a co generate a image and also running that image inside the container so see everything is done successfully if you go to my desktop app desktop app uh, docker desktop app see image is created okay and go to container see container also is running that image that particular image with the you know dev environment okay also if you see the port okay these two ports are listening over there okay so what need to do next okay also if you don't able to see this container tool so uh, you can go to here views and uh, go to other windows and see this is a uh, containers okay so once you click you able to see this one and what happened you can check it over here okay so let's next add okay so now see after you know set up everything you will to see this option as well like docker in previously it was not there it was only http http as is okay and now you will to see also now check in this launcher setting that setting also added like see this setting added automatically okay like see launch url would be a schema service host port and then swagger okay and uh, now let's run the application in in a docker so it will take few minutes okay now see this is container. this is your docker container okay docker container solution and also see the running our application and uh, you will see that uh, yeah see whatever listening port whatever they actually create inside that container okay concern and listening our running our application so see three two seven six nine or three three seven six eight so based on the listening point our application is running okay so go to here see our port is running also our first uh, you know the default uh, ui of swagger that is appearing okay and also we can check the log uh, we can check the log over here actually inside the container see it is logging uh, and also it is migrated done and then our listening our pod okay and uh, this one also you able to see here as well this visual studio like what happening actually see this is running and then listening 
and also you have to see there's a many option like which environment is running it is running on development environment what is the level what is the port it's running volumes files what are the files on where is actually storing it is a storing app and inside app see there's our our binary of the project okay and these logs and this is the details okay and now we have to debug so how we can debug let's put the you know any debugger point in our application in the controller so let's add over here okay and let's run our swagger hit the swagger okay so you can hit the swagger as well or also you don't have a swagger then i think you can just you know use postman or because see this is a listening endpoint so you can hit any any other tools okay and just try out execute definitely okay see debugger point reaching there okay and now f10 f10 and see as of now it is a two record over there okay so this is one and this is two okay and then run continue you will see this two record okay also you can debug everything like now see it is a running your inside our container but you can running your locally uh, means you can debug it locally so that is a great advantage give us to visual studio okay so this is all okay and uh, do you have any other question any query so you can just feel free um no mention in our description or in a comment section okay and next session will come okay now see we have uh, we have uh, learned like okay first we have run this docker file without writing any code and then this second lesson lesson will learn okay how we can debug inside the container now third one will come and we'll will actually we'll learn next session how we can create you know image and container without writing this docker file so that is our next next a great feature which is provide us visual studio so keep to tuning thank you everyone and please don't forget to subscribe like share have a nice day